Hey everybody, happy 24th of November and we are officially about to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays and really just because it's an opportunity to be around my family for one, but for two, to kind of reflect about all of the amazing things that are going on and the things that I am thankful for. So just to kind of give you my, probably, not probably, it is, the number one thing that I am thankful for is my family. And my family is a huge part, I think everybody knows, if anybody knows me, my family is a huge part of who I am and what I do and just my everyday life. So thankful for my family, thankful for each one of you for tuning in and watching and joining our journey as we have traveled now 11 months which means 11 books and I need your help because I need you to help me decide if we are going to keep this journey going into 2020 so let me know send me a note if you don't you don't have to worry about if you don't want to join the journey that, well, that's what I mean if you don't but I hope that everybody's enjoyed it so let me know what you think let me know your thoughts and let's jump into our book of November which has been the power of positive the power of a positive team not the power the power of positive teams the power of a positive team by John Gordon and what a delightful read so he actually had John Gordon come and speak to Pacers Sports and Entertainment last month in which we were given these books and I just thought it was the perfect book to uh, you know thinking about teams and whatever team you're working in we're always in a team whether you're in school you're on a team classmate right not just necessarily a sport obviously in the workforce you're always with a team even if you're an entrepreneur I hope you have a team because nobody's able to do things by themselves right so in any aspect the tea shop the foundation here at Pace Sports and Entertainment with Indiana Fever like we're always committed and working to a team and the most important thing for me is if I'm gonna work on a team you can tell that I am super positive. I am super excited about what I do. So I want to be around positive people. And there's a lot of great points. So, you know, I always like to stick with three, maybe four. I kind of wrote down some notes. So we'll see what I touch on today. It just kind of flows off the top of my head. But we'll start with this. So in the, be in the beginning, it talked about a positive team is created by a group of individuals who come together with vision, purpose, passion, optimism, grit, excellence, communication, connection, love, care, and commitment to doing something amazing and creating something incredible together. Wouldn't you want to be on a team like that? I know for me, and this book has been great just because every day I think I strive to be able to create a positive team in whatever arena that I'm working in for that particular day. And actually for whatever project that I'm a part of for that particular moment. But all of these words, grit, purpose, passion, excellent, communication, connection, love, care, all of those things are things that help drive and just help you get closer to a positive team. So that is what I want to start with. But then the next thing that I really, really liked is talking about everyone means everyone. So. You, I can't go through the whole book. You're going to have to pick and choose which ones you want to go through and read. But when everyone who influences the team gets on the bus together. So John Gordon had a, book, uh, had a book about the energy bus. If you have not read that, you should definitely go and read that. But he talked about having the right energy and everybody having the right energy. The positive energy to get on the bus and move the bus forward. So when everyone who influences the team gets on the bus together with a shared vision and greater purpose, the team becomes an unstoppable force of momentum and positive energy. This rings to me because I feel like since I've been here and working with the Indiana Fever on this side in the last, this, well, the last couple of months, you know, really trying to figure out what the vision and the greater purpose is for our team and the direction. Obviously, there's 12 teams in the WNBA. The goal every year for every team is to win a WNBA championship. Congratulations to the Washington Mystics who won it this past year. But I think the Indiana Fever, we got to get that back, right? So my goal, our goal, my boss and I, our goal as, as an organization is what do we need to do 
to get everybody on the same bus, to move forward in one common direction, an unstoppable force of momentum. And I think that also goes with the passion, the communication, the commitment, dedication, grit, all of the things that I just talked about. When you have all of that, and I think like a, like a ball, and a big ball with all these words, but all of that like pushed into somebody, it's hard not to be able to be a force of nature, unstoppable force of nature. That leads me to my third point, and this is cool because in everything that you do, whether it's a job or sports, it talks about everybody having a rookie mentality. So you're like, I don't want to be a rookie, right? I like being a vet. Vet get this, vet get that. But when we talk about having a rookie mentality, it's more about when you come in, think about the first time you went into your organization or on a team or a new experience, how much energy you had. I want to perform. I want to be good. I want to be great. I want to learn as much as I can. And then you start learning and you know, you're so, that ball of energy that you have. Well then it kind of like you become one year, five year, 10 years, 15 years in, it's like, oh, you know what? I don't have to do that anymore. Or one of the rookies comes in and they have an idea and off, right off the bat, you're like, oh, we already did that. We already tried that. But what if we all took on a rookie mentality and started every day, like let's start right now. What is something that you can do, whether it's somebody that has come and brought an idea or you have an idea but maybe you're like, ah, oh, we've done it like this so so long. Nobody's gonna wanna do my idea. Well, throw it out there. You never know. Have that rookie mentality. Have that boldness about yourself to step up and have those ideas. Communicate with your, communicate with your, communicate with your team. Communicate with your team whatever ideas that you have. That is how you have the rookie mentality. And then last but not least, I mean, this book is all about team, right? And the power of a positive team. So in this book, he had some really, really good ideas about team building. And so one thing that we're gonna do on all of my teams is we are going to pick a team building activity that we will actually incorporate. So team building activity, I can't give you which one you wanna do with your team, but one thing you have to know is that there is a lot of great things in here. Pick it up, the power of a positive team. What can you do to help your team be better? Go back to the communication, go back to the grit, the power inside, bringing the team together, getting on the bus, having that energy forward, think like a rookie. And then of course, you can't get to know people unless you can communicate with people. And I think the culture, communication, building together, positivity, who doesn't like that? So that's my book report for the power of a positive team. I was about to say the power of one. The power of a positive team can't be a power of one, right? So by John Gordon, make sure you go and pick it up. This was a really good book. And so I know when we end one, we have to start another. So the last book of the month or of the year for December, we will do, we will do a vlog for December 24th, but the last book that we have I think it just, it's a great time to have it, but the power, not the power, leave your legacy. You see that? Leave your legacy by Ben Newman. This is gonna be the last book that we read for the year. And I think it's important because we've gone through all these great books this year, but at the end of the day, the end of the day, when all is said and done and we all move on, because there is going to be a point of life that we do move on. What is your legacy gonna be? And so at the end of this year, as we move on to 2020 and beyond, what is your legacy gonna be for 2019? I got asked a question the other day. Somebody asked like, what is your worst fear? And thing that I always say to people, my worst fear is being somewhere. And when I leave, people not even knowing that I was there. Whether it's in your job, whether it's just going to a restaurant, whether it's in a meeting, Whatever the case may be, whether it's going from you know junior high to high school, high school to college, college to the pro game, and some people that go to different places from, from the pro game to corporate life, wherever I am, I want people to know, like, man, that Tamika, she's so positive, she's a great person, like, that's my legacy, and being able to leave little nuggets everywhere I go. So what's your legacy gonna be? Well, we're gonna read this book. You can start thinking about what your legacy is, Leave Your Legacy by Ben Newman. This is going to be, I have not read this yet, but this is going to be a great book. I already know. I can't wait till next month to tell you all about it. 
So join in, tune in, go pick this book up, click below. You can go ahead and order it, Amazon.com, smile.amazon.com, and make sure that you're donating to catch the start to this holiday. I had to put that in there like that. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this. We're getting ready for the holidays. I'm thankful for each of you. Happy Thanksgiving, and then right after that, we'll celebrate, you know, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, and then we'll get into the new year. But before that, we have one of the best, the best program underneath Catch the Stars. My, one of my favorites, I'm, I'm a little biased. But this will be the 19th year that we will, celebra we will be celebrating the Catch the Stars holiday camp for boys and girls ages seven all the way up to 15. We have three days, December 27th through the 29th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you're from out of town, it's a weekend, fly in, get a hotel room, be there 27, 28, 29. We're always, obviously we want the kids to sign up for the camp, age seven to 15. We have always have room for those that have graduated and from our camp, of course. The 16 to 17 year old, we have junior volunteers. And then 18 and older, we have volunteers. But this year, this will be the second year that we've added a referee program. Who doesn't want to be certified as an IHSAA referee? So for those three days that we're doing camps and the kids are on the court doing their thing, and of course we still need volunteers, so we need volunteers as well. But we're also going to be doing simultaneously a referee program to get up to 30 people that need to get certified for referee. They'll be able to go there and same thing. They'll go through classroom and then in the afternoon they'll actually referee the game that we have going on at the camp. This is a win-win for everybody. So if you don't have anything to do, or even if you do, but you want to make a difference and you want to leave your legacy, <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity. December 27th through the 29th, go to catchthestars.org, find out more information. We'll also post some information at the bottom so that you can have a chance to go and register you, your child, and or somebody that you want to volunteer and be a referee. All right, so we got a lot of really cool things. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining in. Happy November 24th. Eat a lot, but not too much. Make sure you work out and watch football, watch basketball, watch watch anything. All right, I'll see you next month. Don't forget, it is time. It is time, officially time, to leave your legacy. We'll see you next month. Happy November 24th.